Welcome back to a brand new PTCG live video. Today I'll be testing out the brand new Galissapod EX from the newly released set Paradox Rift. So without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Let's take a look at some of the cards we'll be using for this deck list. Starting out with Manaphy, we are using one copy of Manaphy just to protect our bench Pokemon. We are going to also run a 1-1 line of Palkia V Origin Form, as well as the Palkia Origin Form V-Star. It is a pretty powerful attacker. It does up to 260 damage when the benches are full. As well as it has a pretty good Star Portal ability, which allows it to be a pretty good backup attacker in a pinch. You can use this and get uh, the water energies out of the discard onto Palkia or you can take them and put them on one of your Galissapods as well. But it is a pretty good card to have for this deck. We also will be running the four uh, four wind pods as well as the three Galissapods EXs. Galissapod does have an interesting attack with its swing and skedaddle attack. It does 170 damage and then you get to switch it out with one of your benched Pokemon. There are a good selection of bench Pokemon to switch out into. Some of them will be this Mimikyu, which is a very annoying Pokemon with its safeguard. No EXs or V Pokemon can do any damage on it. Keep in mind, Roaring Moon can still knock this out with Frenzied Gouging. We also will have three copies of Klefki. This will be another interesting Pokemon to switch out into after we use the Swing and Skedaddle. Klefki has a very good ability where it will shut down all basic Pokemon abilities and in play, including your own. So everything from like Cone Phase to all of the Radiant Pokemon to Genesect V, it shuts down so many uh, Pokemon in the, in the rotation. It is a very powerful Pokemon to have in the active spot, of course. So we will use Squ Swing and Skedaddle, and this will be a great candidate to put into the active if your opponent is a Lost Box a deck or a Mew VMAX or something like that. We also will be running a 2-2 line of Natu and Zatu. This is a very good Pokemon just for attaching energies onto our Galistapods. We will be attaching Psychic energies mostly onto it because you can only attach Psychic with Zatu. And Galistapod's uh, Swing and Skedaddle attack does use two colorless. So we will be attaching the two Psychic energies mostly with Zatu over here. And then you get to draw two cards. So a pretty useful card. You do get draw support as well as energy onto your Pokemon. Onto the trainer cards. We are, run we are running a quite a few interesting trainer cards for this deck. We are using the two copies of Earth and Vessel to just help us find energies for the deck. So we can use Zatu's abilities, of course. Four copies of Battle VIP Pass. One copy of Escape Rope, just for those bad situations, of course. Two copies of Nest Ball, just to get basics down, like Palkia. One copy of Super Rod, just in case you want to get some more energies out of the discard into your deck. Three copies of Ultra Ball, that is just to find the uh, Galissapod or maybe Palkia. Two copies of Beach Court this is a really good stadium card, so then you can, your Mimikyu's and your Clef Keys can just retreat for free. Uh, we also will try to run two Path to the Peak. This is a very good stadium card also, as we aren't really running many abilities for this deck except for the Palkia V-Star. So this is a pretty good trainer card to have to use against your opponent, especially if they're running something like a Maraidon deck. Also are running two copies of Boss's Orders, a very standard. Three copies of Iono, it's another very standard card. We also will sneak in two copies of Irida. It is a pretty good trainer card for any deck that is running water types. And I feel like we are running enough water types to justify running Irida in this deck. It'll help you find Palkia or Manaphy or maybe even a Galissapod or a Wimpod. Very good trainer card. And we are running four copies of Professor's Research just for that draw support. If you get a bad hand, we can just discard it, get a new hand. And finally, onto the energy cards. We are running nine psychic energies as well as the four uh, water energies. So those were all the cards that we will be using for this deck. And let us see how it does in the matches. Okay, we win the coin toss. It's pretty cool. We'll definitely want to go first.
And looks like I'm gonna be a Charizard deck. Got a one card for the Mulligan. And let's nest ball for it now too. Yeah, let's just end turn. Uh, it looks like maybe they're AFK, they kind of just pass without doing anything. Let's use Ionum. Draw two more cards. Mm, let's just end turn. They put down Artisan, they play Nest Ball for Confe. Then Trimander. Okay, so I assume maybe they just didn't have anything last turn. Choose the artist down, we might as well get a not too down. And let's do, do the Aqua Blade knockout confi. I mean, that's super run. Uh, is decent. We are only running one copy of it in the deck, so it's pretty good we actually got it. I go back into another cone thing. And yeah, they're gonna use their artisan, probably to get another confe down or a trimander. Yeah, they got confe. In this ball, a third confe. Hmm. And they're gonna go for Flower Select. They got rid of Trimander. Hmm. And they just pass, okay. And our Zatu up. And this nest ball for Palkia.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just use the aqua blade. We don't have a cleft key, fortunately. On the bench, we get half the peak. And they let go of boss's orders into the law soon. them to mimic you just in case they get the charizard ex up this turn we'll have a barrier these colorless experiment I they're just gonna retreat actually into Cramorant, which they're gonna knock us out. They're taking a long time to hit that prize card. Okay, finally. Unless they're playing like maybe on the mobile device. An earthen vessel. Okay, cleft key, that's basically what I wanted to see. Go into cleft key. Knock out the cram. Get one prize. Okay, another Golasopan. Okay. 
But we only have one cleft key, we cannot keep them locked, so... We didn't make them waste the rope, at least. And they're gonna flower select again. I'm surprised I didn't get Charizard up by now. That was just kind of surprising. There it is. There's the Char Lizard. Okay, so they're probably gonna retreat now into Charizard. I play Colorist Experiment. And they also do have their deck pretty well thinned out. They're gonna be down to like, what, 14 cards? Ooh, they got rid of Roxanne. They definitely could have played that. They're probably gonna go into Charizard now. Yep, of course they're gonna go into Charizard. I believe they'll be doing 270 actually. They're gonna max out most likely. Because 30, 60, 90. Yeah, they're gonna max out actually. Super Rod, some of the psychic energies back. Let's get Mimikyu. Let's just play her to, I guess. Let's get Wind Pad and the Earth and Vessel. cards here, okay. Oh, let's discard the water energy this time. Because then we're gonna get that back of Palkia. They get Artisan, they got rid of Path pretty quick. Let's see what they do. And they Jet Energy into Comfy. And go for the Flyer Select here.
Okay, yeah, of course they're gonna retreat. The other Kung Fei. Gave up a boss. They gave up two bosses. And they're gonna play Colorus Experiment. I only got nine cards left on the deck. They're gonna be down to like four. Yeah, I don't see much they can do here. They rare candy for another Charizard X, okay. They only got four cards in the decks, so obviously, and they didn't get any fire entries from that. Yeah, I don't really see much they can do here. Like, they could go into the fresh Charizard at 330 HP, but... I don't think they can attack them. They bench Radiant Zard with Nest Ball. And then they're gonna Super Rod back some things from the discard. Uh, cram and some fire energies. Attach energy to Clef Key. That was hoping for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, let's just knock out the Kung thing. Get Professor's Research. Then go into our other cone thing. And they're going to Artisan or Cramorant. So they're probably going to knock us out with Mimikyu. We go for the Flower Select. That's a lot of cards in the lost zone, there. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out uh, into Zard. Maybe they have Counter Catcher. Yeah, they do have Counter Catcher. And they go for the Golosipad. Which, which I feel like even if they went for Palkia, it kind of make no difference. We do have Boss, so... Yeah. 
We're good. Okay, and those are the last two prizes. Look those prizes. I haven't even got to see. <laughs> and with the coin toss, I believe we won the coin toss here. Yeah, so we'll be going first. And this is a pretty decent hand. We'll start with Klefki, of course. And it looks like there's gonna be Goldango. Not in Metal Energies and no, item re and energy retrieval items. And get one card for the mulligan. Okay. Let's get not to. This looks like Palkia V is prized. Let's get a Wimpan. They got three gimme ghouls. They I own know us, which is pretty bad. Earthen Vessel, two more energies. And they just go for the attack here. Fails. Oh, they got, they got tails right away. Ultra Ball away, the Man Feet, and the Wind Pad get. It's sad too. Satu's ability, let's attach, and we'll get to uh, draw two cards. Can we get here though? For Earth and Vessel. I don't know, let's just get a wind pad. Down path just in case. Second turn. They use Arvin. They're probably gonna get Ultra Ball probably when oh, they got Nest Ball for a Seal Stone. I'm probably gonna nest ball for. Okay, they got Scyther. I wasn't expecting that. But they're gonna get another Vroom. Patch of Metal Energy, and they get Evolution TM. But they're probably gonna get Goldangos up, or at least one Goldango, and then they get Scizor. Oh wow, they don't get any Goldangos.
Let's see, let's attach energy like it was to power that to. Now we get the Palkia. energy and let's go into hmm. I'm going to clef key here I feel like it didn't matter too much but yeah I was expecting I'm gonna go into scissor the rumbling engine and yeah it is gonna knock out cleft key here Tatrasatu. Okay. Let's use Iono instead. the mini queue. And get second prize. Okay, there's the Palkia finally. Let's see, I'm gonna go for the mysterious tail like a superior energy retrieval. Attach a metal, metal energy immune, they're gonna treat to give me ghoul. Okay, there's the goldango. They boss us. I wonder what they're gonna boss. Probably the Zatu. That's probably what I would knock out. Yeah, they went for the Zatu. And I go for the rumbling engine, get some draw. And I only need two energies to knock out Zanatu, which is pretty easy. Yeah, they're gonna get over just this here. Bench the Palkia. Mm. Let's just go for the attack here. And we'll just go into a uh, mini queue.
Uh, can I switch out? I go for the rumbling engine. Get some draw. Play worker. Superior energy retrieval. Okay, so now they can use their coin bonus. And they just go for the continuous coin toss. Hopefully they don't knock us out. 40 damage. Pretty close. Go for the escape rope. Just to save that energy on Mimikyu. I go into Mew, which is fine. And let's nest ball for Natu. Go for the attack. Get rid of water energy. And we'll go into Mimikyu. We get Battle VIP pass. I need that. And they go into Goldango. Wow. Can't attack with it. The Ultra Ball for buying another Goldango, in my opinion. Now they get Lumineon. But they're probably going to boss us. They are definitely going to boss us. Yep, there's the boss. Get the coin bonus. Of course, they get the Golisopod. Superior energy retrieval. They only need, I think, for six energies to knock us out. Yeah, six. Yeah, they're probably gonna knock us out here. Guess we can use that. Mm. Mm. I think I'm just research this away. Okay, we do get the Zatu and the Palkia. Let's go for the damage. Let's knock them out. Big prizes. I'm feeling pretty confident here. We could lose still, but I really doubt it. I'm 
surprised they gave up a worker. I'm pretty sure they have one in the hand. Yeah, actually, they're gonna probably win here. Yeah, and they got six cards. They got six energies. I know, I guess so. Well, that's a pretty close. Okay, it looks like it's going to be a lost box duck. And let's get a Wimpon. Let's send turn. They punch another Confei, and they go for Battle Pass. And of course they got Colors Experiment. I don't know why they benched three Confei's. That's... Especially when they have Klefki in the active, like... Ball. Get mana fee. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're switching to another config. Doesn't really change the situation. And let's attach energy with Zatu's ability. Hopefully, we get something good. Okay, that works. And I'm gonna end turn. There's really no rush to switch out. We're doing pretty good with just locking their abilities. I go for Colorless Experiment. Okay, they give up a path and a V Star Giratina. We don't have much time. They have already have four cards in a loss zone. They put down Peak, which doesn't really do anything. And we're gonna switch out into Giratina and do that Abyss Seeking. For sure. Let's touch energy with Zatu. And let's put Beach Court out. And let's research. Mm, let's get a Mimic Cue here, actually. Just going to Clef Key actually. On the 
geez, I got this car, just two, so. And I just go for a bit seeking again. Looks like they don't have much here. And they really can't retreat, probably. Go back and the Glossopod, do 170. Go back into Klefki. Two prizes, pretty good. See, they play Sableye. And they do Colorus Experiment, which will bring them up to 10 cards. So they could use Sableye next turn. Or I mean this turn even. Oh, they got rid of counter catcher. Pretty good. It's hard to give up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're gonna mirage gate for probably the sable eye. Lost mine. Yeah, looks like they're probably gonna knock out the Zot too and then 20 damage on something else. Yeah, they go for the Glossopon. Windpad, Bell Pass, and get Palkia. Got Sableye and go into a cleft key here. What do we get? We get Psychic Energy. And a bunch of Greninja, which can't use its ability. Counter catcher, the Palkia. Looks like they only used up one Mirage Gate so far. They used Roxanne, which is pretty bad. We didn't they have quite a few cards in the deck. And looks like they're probably gonna go for the Moonlight Shurikens.
Yeah, and I'm gonna get both clef keys probably. Yeah. Let's rope out. Pasta Greninja. Mm. I feel like Path doesn't really do all too much. Gun to Mimikyu, of course, and they get one more prize. What do we get? Clef key, that could that's useful. They go into Confe. Which they'll be allowed to use the flower slack now, and they got the cram as well. Yeah, they're gonna go right into Cramorant. And they're gonna super run. Probably the Greninja and some energies, honestly. And the Sableye. Yeah. That was a pretty clutch psychic energy to get. Let's bench clef key. And go to psychic energy, go into clef key. What do we get? Something useful. Oh, that's good. They go into comfy. And they bench the Sable Eye, which is pretty annoying. They're definitely going to go into Sable Eye. But they're not going to get two knockouts or two prizes with it. Yeah, they're just going to put them on Glossopod, I guess. Let's see, yeah, they put all 120. Yeah, let's just I don't know for fun what do we get for the top card. Manaphy. Pretty bad. And they just conceded. And those were all of the matches. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.